and here's what's happening at Utopia Farms today. How could you get in there? Really? We're going with a ram! We're going with a ram! We sorted this group who we thought were in really good shape. Okay. And we're off again. He's flirting with someone already. Let's get started. So here's yesterday's breeding groups. I'm just gonna go check to make sure they have salt and mineral and their water's clean. We didn't do that yesterday. And I think we're gonna try get some more work done in these barns today as well. Hi, how y'all doing in here? Hi, where's the ram? Where's the ram? He blends in quite well here. Hi, you look like an angel in here. Okay, I just checked all their salt and mineral. We're gonna add some more dorsets to this group. This group's not full yet, but um, this Suffolk group is full. How you guys doing in here? Uh, there's the ram. I was wondering where he was. But he he's up here. There you go, buddy. What do you think? Fun times now? This is why you have phones, look. Could you get in there? Really? Poor thing was somehow stuck in there. This is like a deja vu. We're gonna take these little rams and put them on the other side because today we're gonna sort through the skinny sheep and put the ones that aren't skinny in a breeding group. They're in the skinny Dorset group, and it's like they know what's going on. We're going with a ram! We're going with a ram! <laughs> How do they know that? You gotta love sheep that move that way. So now we've got all the sheep gathered up and what we're doing is we're letting out any sheep that we think could use to put on a few extra pounds before they go in a breeding group. Um, the suffix that go through and are let out 
are ones that went through yesterday that we also thought were in poorer condition. So this is going to be the pen of the ewes that are getting more feed and will be going into breeding groups just a little bit later. And the ones that go in the catch area where I'm standing, they're the ones who we think are good enough and ready to go in with a ram. So um, basically it's just separating the sheep off like we did last, uh, like we did yesterday. So we went through them all, we took out the ones that we thought were still in a little bit of poor condition, and 
we sorted this group who we thought were in really good shape and they're gonna head over to the main barn now we'll probably put half in each group chewy's in here as well that's who we had to catch at the end there we uh, forgot to deworm her because she was out at pasture so we got her dewormed and we're going over okay and we're off again see they know that that's their barn let's get this shut so they don't backtrack Ben come on good boy come on let's go Good boy. You're doing a great job. Ah. That was the one that caused us trouble in the shoot too. Max! See how he cut them off? Max, stay here. You're you're splitting them. Max has got to just learn to stay a little back. He's too up in their face. Ben is really good. That's better, Max. Same as yesterday, we're just going to split them up into the two Dorset groups. is going to go into the main barn. Come on, you guys. There. Turn around. Turn around. Why would you come back out? No, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Keep going. So we just got knockout out of his group. We dewormed him, and he's gonna go in a breeding group. Come on, buddy. There, meet your girlfriend. dinner. We had a little bit of a disaster. My egg wanted to slide off my chicken. But it's still there. We're gonna... So we put a sunny side up egg on top of the chicken so that when we cut open the yolk it's like a little gravy for it with some roasted vegetables that came out of the garden and some brown and wild rice. Arnie's is over here. And do you think that yolk is gonna go like gravy? Yes. Do you wanna cut it? Oh, yes. You can check the yolk. Because you want it to spill over your chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm fine with algebra. Is it solid? Yeah, you hooked it, overhooked it. Well, because... Yours is soft, isn't it? Oh, yours is not too bad. Okay. That's okay. You see, this is a different color. Because well, because you what, had the white. What happened is the white was falling off. It fell off of this one, slid off, because the chicken wasn't level enough. And uh, the whites are, that fell off cooked really fast, and the white that was on the chicken cooked really slow. So we were having a problem getting timing right. Well, so I'm going to get you for Christmas. What's that? The transit. A what? A transit. Does it make the eggs better? Because you want those for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> At least I make an effort to give you a dinner. This afternoon, Arnie got some lights hooked up in our little porch here at the back of the house. And we're going to experiment to see how we like it. Right now, he put them kind of on one level. And we're wondering if we should leave it like at this type of level. Or maybe drape it more up inside the trees. But I think it looks pretty good. Might look good higher in the trees as well, but it looks cozy. Anyway, we're going to be working on this now that the weather is getting cooler. And maybe we can come out here and have a drink and sit in front of a fire by the lights. Now that it's getting cooler, well, this is a temporary cool off period, I know that. But it gets you thinking, and we're thinking of setting up a little fireplace and... I think it's kind of a nice little cozy spot in here. So, I like it. I'm actually shivering a bit, believe it or not, <laughs> when you get so used to the extreme heat when it gets cool like this. Um, yeah, it feels really cold. <laughs> anyway, we got a lot done today, more sorting of sheep, and you'll have to stay with us tomorrow because we're going to be getting the Dorset rams in their breeding groups and I think Arnie's going to shear them as well and you know how exciting that can be. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us and please make sure to join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.